In this step, the Y-axis rail will be installed on the gantry back plate. You'll need 12 number 8 screws at 1 inch long, and you'll need 12 number 8 nut inserts or rivet nuts. Make sure that you have the rail oriented where the hole closest to the edge is on this side of the gantry. I'm only loosely tightening these screws. I'm going to go ahead and tighten them and I'm going to allow it to rest with using gravity as um, being its reference essentially because right now I can feel the uh, the level it's its reference to the top of this is very consistent so I'm going to go ahead and tighten them just with a small screwdriver for now and then I'll tighten them all the way with a larger screwdriver to get more torque. In this step, the bearing block for this gantry rail will be installed. Okay, take off this screw so we can put on we can put on the zerk fitting. And I'm going to put the zerk fitting or install the bearing block in an orientation so the zerk fitting is on this side, not on that side. The mirror mount support piece right here will be installed. You'll need two one and a half inch screws, quarter inch, and two cross dowels. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these all the way. The timing belt tensioner, which is right here, the support for that will be installed. And the tensioner, which is very difficult to see in this shot, will also be put together. We're going to be using this piece here, which will eventually go to this location here. And the belt tensioner is going to be uh, sticking out of this hole here. So you'll need two of these parts. They look like little fishies. You'll need one of these, uh, two of these shim washers, uh, 608Z bearings, one eight millimeter M8 screw, an M8 nut, a two inch quarter inch screw, and a quarter inch nut. We'll start by putting this piece into here. And you don't want to put the, um, the nut all the way down. You don't want to tighten it. You want some area here to that it can be tensioned later on. You put this piece on here. The shim washer needs to go next because the bearing is going to go against this acrylic. Let's see if I can do this. And then a bearing, another bearing, shim washer, and the final acrylic. Let's see if I can do this. Maybe sideways. Let's see if I can get this in here. <laughs> it's falling apart. Okay, let's take this one off. All right, this, this is going to work. And you put this one here and it all goes together. And once it is screwed down, screw it tight, these will still turn because there's shim washers in there and it's only um, hitting the inner race, not the outer race. So there you go. And it won't come apart um, from there. And this is gonna be installed in this location like so. To install this part on the mirror mount support, you'll need two quarter inch, one and a half inch screws and two cross dowels. Make sure this is at the right orientation or it won't actually go all the way up. There you go. 
Okay, and I usually, if I'm using a driver, I will always come back and tighten it manually. The mirror mounts will be fastened to this mirror mount support piece. The mirror mount has an M6 hole here and an M6 hole here, and I'll be mounting it in this orientation. So this set screw is on this side, on the outside, and I'll be doing the same thing here. You'll also need two M6 screws. So just take the M6 screw, put it through the slot, and just drive the screw in. You can leave it loose now because uh, when we get to the alignment of the laser, we'll tighten it once we know the uh, laser is aligned. And it can be moved in this direction here and in this direction. Same thing with this, back and forth and rotated. The fine adjustment will be using these two screws, set screws, and these two set screws here. Same thing with this, two set, set screws here and then two set screws here. And those have to be used um, in, a, in conjunction to move this plate this way. In this step, the limit switch for the Y-axis will be installed. You'll need the limit switch, two number six one and a half inch screws, and two number six nuts. To fasten the limit switch, you're gonna use the two number six screws and just drive the screw through the mounting hole of the limit switch. Once the plexi piece has been mounted to this bearing block, it'll hit this, the roller on the lever here. In this step, the X motor will be fastened to the X motor mount, and the motor mount will be fastened to the base of the machine, and the coupling that couples the motor shaft to the quarter inch shaft will also be installed. Using this part here, a motor, the same motor we used in the other axis, four number eight screws, and four nut inserts or rivet nuts. This motor and motor mount assembly is placed in this location. You'll need two quarter inch, one and a half inch screws and two cross dowels. The screws are gonna come up from the bottom here. And then the cross dowel will be in this hole. We'll do that to both sides. In this step, the shaft extending from the X axis motor will be placed between two bearings and bearing mounts. And the two bearing mounts will be installed on the bottom plate of the machine and the drive pulleys will also be inserted onto the shaft. There'll be one on each side. So you'll need these two parts, two bearings, the shaft and a coupling for quarter to quarter. First, I'm gonna put the bearings into these bearing mounts. They are gonna to need to be pressed in. So I'm just gonna use this table. If it's too difficult to do, you can use a clamp as well. I think I'm gonna to have to use a clamp. So this bearing is seated really well. Insert the coupling onto the quarter inch rod until you see that the rod is at flush with one of the, um, or this particular side, this cut kerf of the coupling. You're gonna use a 332nd Allen wrench. The two bearing mounts will be positioned here and here. So what you need to do first is slide the bearings this rod and coupling and the motor shaft will be arranged like this. We'll have a bearing here, a bearing here, and these drive pulleys will be located here in line with these two holes here. Drive pulley will be in line with these two holes here. So let's go ahead and assemble this.
All right, that's good. Now I'm going to fasten these to the table. Find the holes on the bottom. Flatten it a little bit. I'm gonna drive one all the way in first, just to position it. Okay, the last one. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it all the way. Now the other two screws to this bearing bearing mount. I'm going slow so I don't cross thread. This one is about to cross thread, so I'm gonna make sure that I don't cross thread it. I think I might have, let's see. No, no it's fine. These are very secure, and I'm not going to tighten these on yet until I get the, the belt on these two, and I'll need the tensioner done first before that. 